and this one doesn't rhyme, so uh, there's more chance I won't remember the words. Because uh, I don't like poems that don't rhyme, but sometimes I write them, which is stupid when you think about it. Um, this one uh, doesn't have a title, because I haven't quite worked out what it's about. So if anyone wants to give me any suggestions after the show, uh, feel free, because I, I do like the titles. I feel they're important. Um, so we'll just call this Andy's poem for now. <laughs> uh, I wrote it really early in the morning, see if you can tell. It's six o'clock and he's slept enough and no one's watching as he tramps past powerless neon and rainbows of vomit and the hollow hill that he calls home calls him home. No crowds today to see him climb, no choirs nor bells, no flame-lit circus cheers him on, just dogs and rats fighting like rats and dogs and the slumberous dead eyes of heavy-lidded houses and polystyrene pigeons fighting over frozen chips and pizza cheese and nightly vile beans. But screw the darkness, screw the torches, he's got a zippo, ping! And he sparks himself another joint. It's six o'clock and he's smoked enough and anyway these things wear off over time. For every blind old man that shows him an open door, ten more clang and shut like secret cells and the bicycles have chained themselves to railings again. There's a tremor in the sky but nothing in the streets except the dull simoom of distant shuttle buses queuing up to spend the day underground and sit in neat little painted boxes and breathe mono smoke and tarmac and nightly vile beans. He hears the new fan coming and the fumes catching his throat. It's six o'clock and he's choked enough and a girl with broken wings stares up at a sign from the past and makes a long joke and she's younger than him. How can she be younger than him? Schoolboys run the firehouse now hosing their friends and laughing and flicking bees at the grown-ups and teachers and nurses who tell them to stop. They pepper spray his tears away, preen their uniforms and it's their grey sky and nightly bile beans keep you healthy, bright-eyed and slim. It's six o'clock and he's slept enough and smoked enough and choked enough and cried enough and sometimes spleen is not enough. And the bicycles have chained themselves to railings again. Cheers.